bags to the grocery store, right? And composting at home. But what about using a solar-powered mobile phone? Well, lots of businesses realise there's money to be made creating greener products. Relitza Vasilova spoke with gadget guy Scott Steinberg about some of the new offerings. Scott here is joining us in the studio with his favourite green gadgets. First, for people who like to talk in the car, but also be green. Oh yeah, this one's definitely for chatty Cathy's. This is the LG HFB 500. Gonna cost about 100 bucks, but it's a solar-powered Bluetooth hands-free speakerphone. So great for use in the car. About two hours of sunlight's gonna give you about an hour of talk time, and it stores up to 16 hours, which is good when you've got a motor mouth like so. But again, 100 bucks, you know, a nice solar gadget there. You can draw energy from an alternate source. LG.com has all the details. Wonderful. Now this one, do mm -hmm. you really mean to tell me that this is the first carbon-free phone ever invented. You mean to tell me there's no carbon in this? Well, I can't say for certain there's no carbon inside the phone itself. but this the used in producing it? Well, that's a good question. This is the Moto W233 Renew. Now, they say it's carbon neutral thanks to a partnership with CarbonFund.org where they plant trees or they actually donate to sustainable, renewable energy sources as a way to offset okay. that. But the neat part about it is this phone is actually housed in a plastic casing made from recycled water bottles, so it goes down more biodegradable than the usual cell phone. On top of this, you get nine hours talk time you're not going to be recharging it consuming as much energy as usual hell even the packaging is recyclable awesome awesome now this one i love this one a video game where no one gets killed well, I think my tomatoes got butchered at the last planting season, but this is Gardening Mama from Majesco. It's a game for the Nintendo DS, like a mini game collection, going to cost you about $30, all about planting fruits, vegetables, different types of plants. The games involve pruning them, harvesting them, decorating your garden. And oddly enough, it runs on Nintendo's new DSi system, which has an online wireless download shop, so you can purchase games without any of that nasty packaging that ends up in landfills. Good for adults, too? Oh, yeah, uh, great for adults. People like kids. me who don't have a green thumb? Yes, especially those who want to exercise their <laughs> Okay. Well, plants, you're safe. I'm not going to be gardening. <laughs> uh, just in cyber world. This one is awesome. I can just put it in my my bag and just travel around the world. Oh, yeah. This is a great But what trip. makes it green? Ah, good question. Okay. So this is the Asus EPC, the, the 1000 HE model. This is going to cost you about 400 bucks. The thing that makes it green, it will run for about seven to nine hours of battery life off any given charge. So about I three or that. four times as I much as that. the usual notebook PC. Lightweight, nice roomy keyboard. Cool little PC. Doesn't have high-end processing power, but should have enough for most basic tasks, surfing the web, mm -hmm. checking mm -hmm. email. And again, you know, you're going to keep going and going with this thing. What about this? What makes this humongous one green? Well, humongous is all in the eye of the beholder. This is the <laughs> MSI Wintop A1900. This is an all-in-one PC. So although you see this 18.5-inch screen here, everything you need is self-contained in this monitor unit. It's got a touch screen. It uses, here, here's what makes it green. 80% less energy than the usual really? desktop PC. That's what they claim. And the neat part about it, too, is it also never runs above 50 watts in power. So a good choice there costs about $529. And as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful, going to fit in with any aesthetic. Scott Steinberg, Neat Gadgets. Thank you. Cheers.